students are inside Ben Franklin High School right there right now. In fact, it's only their third day back in this building since October when they were vacated due to asbestos. But we spoke with students and they say that's all behind them now. Take a listen. I just feel really excited to get to see the new building, all the work they did here, because this is our first actual day. Samira wasn't the only one who just couldn't contain her excitement about going to school. Students and faculty were up and on their feet in celebration Tuesday morning. They were ready to welcome students back to Benjamin Franklin High School. One teacher didn't hesitate to share his moves and his emotions. Our seniors have a few months left here, and they deserve nothing but the best, and they're happy, so that makes me even happier that they want to be back in their home. Now, $37 million in renovations later, it's a new and improved home. From classrooms with new windows to a freshly painted gymnasium, nearly 400,000 square feet of asbestos was removed, and the building has its doors open once again, with students eager to get inside. I'm just looking forward to like seeing like how everything came together and actually like getting like the actual high school feel of it, because I'm just a freshman here. It's been five months since Benjamin Franklin students have stepped foot into their home building, but students tell me their community stood strong the entire time. It's a great combination of things we've been through and how we held together through being in a tight community and a tight space together. Principal Christine Borelli says there are no safety concerns inside the building and that she's thankful for the district's support. Just really proud of the teachers and the students in our community, especially our families, being patient with us during this time, and we're ready to rebuild Ben Franklin. There are four more schools not at that rebuilding stage yet. T.M. Pierce, Clara Barton, and James Sullivan Elementary Schools are closed temporarily with no clear opening date, while Francis Hopkinson is shut down indefinitely. You can visit PhilaSD.org to stay up to date on all of the closures. But for now, we are live here at Benjamin Franklin High School. I'm Liana Golden for Temple Update. Back to you guys in the studio.